808 here on AM 1460, the new WXBR. You're listening to the Metro South Morning Show PM in the AM. Peter Zimbor and Mike Pava here with you on this Friday morning. Next month, July 23rd, 24th, and 25th from 4.30 to 9 p.m. at Brockton High School, former New England Patriots reach running back Patrick Pass will be having a football camp for kids ages 8 to 17 years old. This will be at Brockton High. It will be an NFL-style combine football camp and here to talk with us about it on the program joining us via the telephone is none other than former new england patriots running back patrick pass himself patrick good morning 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 how you guys doing we're doing excellent this morning patrick we want to talk in depth with you about this football camp which is coming up next month which is certainly a very cool thing for the kids and teenagers of the city of brockton and surrounding communities but i have to ask you while you have you on the air with us this morning uh The Aaron Hernandez situation taking place with the New England Patriots right now. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you were kind of coming out of the league as he was coming into the league. Did you ever have any uh, brushes with Aaron Hernandez at all or no? Uh Uh-oh. Wow. We lost Patrick Pass, possibly on purpose. Did he hang up on me? I think he did. Okay. You went right into that. You didn't even waste any time. No, I was going to talk about his football pass in depth. Of course. His, his football camp in depth. Patrick Pass. Wow. He's not pleased. Patrick Pass passed in the interview. <laughs> Basically, I was going to ask him. I didn't think they had any affiliation with one another. And I was going to ask him how this situation would affect the locker room, considering that Patrick Pass had a lengthy career in the National Football League as a member of the New England Patriots, in the early 2000s where he played in some Super Bowls and whatnot. Do we have Patrick Pass back? <laughs> Good morning, Patrick. Do we have you? Yeah, I'm here. I thought you hung up on me intentionally for a moment. No, nah, no, nah, it was just my just freaking smartphone to make you feel dumb. At times. I <laughs> hear you, Patrick. <laughs> well, Patrick, basically what I wanted to ask you was, before we talk about your football camp, which is coming up, next month in the city of Brockton. How does a situation like Aaron Hernandez with the New England Patriots affect the spirit of the locker room, particularly at the beginning of the season, before they even go into training camp? You know what? From Just from playing, being on that team for, you know, seven years and having the likes of uh, Willie McGinnis and, you know, Ted Bruski and Mike Vrabel and all those guys, it, you know, we they made it so much easier for, for younger guys to come in and not even worry about outside distractions because we had a season to get ready for, and I'm sure the old guys are doing the same thing right now. Now, you mentioned the locker room leaders during your era with the New England Patriots. From what you know of the New England Patriots organization right now, who are those locker room leaders at this time? Well, you know, you still have Tom Brady, who's going through, I think, his 13th or 14th year, and you have uh, Gerard Mayo, who's coming to his own. Uh, you have Vince Wilford, you know, the the city favorite, and then you have, um, you know, some of the other guys like um, Logan Mankins, who's been there for, for a while, who's uh, definitely become a team leader. So despite all of the off-the-field distractions involving the New England Patriots, this offseason, particularly these last few weeks, you think that they'll be able to stay focused and move forward once training camp rolls around later on during the summer? Yeah, look at these guys. They have one goal in mind. Let's go out and be the best team in the National Football League and get us back to the Super Bowl. So they're not going to let in the outside distractions really, you know, uh, dictate how they're going to uh, prepare for the season in 2013. And we certainly don't want to dwell on this, but you were sort of leaving the NFL at the time Aaron Hernandez was coming into the NFL. Did you ever have any contact with him whatsoever? No, not, you know, as a teammate, but we did go out a few times and uh, other than that but you know it is, this is definitely a total shock for me and I'm sure it is for New England fans. So there wasn't any indication from your limited interaction with him that he could be capable of some of the things he's alleged to have been a part of? Well I didn't I didn't I definitely didn't see it coming so I mean this is like I say it's a total shock. Once again, we're chatting with former New England Patriots running back Patrick Pass here on this Friday morning on AM 1460, the new WXPR. Patrick, July 23rd, 24th, and 25th from 4.30 to 9 p.m. at Brockton High School. You'll be the host of an NFL-style 
combine training football camp for kids ages 8 to 17 in the city and surrounding communities. Tell us, why did you decide to bring your football camp to Brockton, and what do you hope these youngsters who are a part of your football camp take out of the experience? Well, I've heard a lot about the Brockton football program, you know, even when I was playing football. And kind of reminded me of when I, I started playing football when I was eight years old. You know, you get a lot of kids from the from the city that try to come out and play the sport that they love playing. And also it keeps these guys out of trouble. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I started playing football when I was young. It kept me out of trouble and away from the knuckleheads. And I just always wanted to, to get back to the community, you know, just to let these kids know, you know, if you do the right thing, there's a great chance that great things will happen to you if you just keep your head on straight and finish school and, you know, be, uh, you know, obey your parents and stuff like that. So it just, it was just always easy for me to just come out and just get back to the community because that's something that I always wanted to do. Once again, we're chatting with former New England Patriots running back Patrick Pass here on AM 1460, the new WXBR, talking about as a football camp being held in the city of Brockton July 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Patrick, you obviously be a part of your football camp. Any other former NFL or New England Patriots players going to be a part of this football camp as well outside of yourself? Well, no, I, I normally have uh, Harold Shaw, who I played with in 2000, Vernon Crawford, who played before me, um, also... Uh, uh, I can't even think of plenty right now for early in the morning. Uh, Matt Slane, uh, who played offensive lineman with me, uh, with New England Patriots. So I, I do have former Pats that I played with uh, help me out with these camps as well. Sort of a who's who of the early Belichick era Patriots, which won those first Super Bowls. Yeah, uh, was Matt on the team? I think Matt was on the team. Matt was on the team. I, I think he was on the first two Super Bowl teams that we played in. And then myself and uh i think Vernon left the year that we won so i mean i mean still these guys they still live in the area and they love giving back to the community the same thing i like to do and we also as alumni host football camps around the city i mean we have we are we have three already so far uh boston springfield mass and uh endicott college and we also have another one this saturday and University of New Hampshire, and they were also going to be in Providence, Rhode Island, doing a free camp for the kids. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be one. Of, it's going to be a different camp than what you, what you witness and see because it's going to be under the light. It's going to be at nighttime, so it's kind of give these kids in a, a sense of feeling of what it's like to play football at night and under lights like we do in Georgia and Friday night lights under the under, under the lights. So, it's going to be a fun night. Now, this is a situation where kids get the opportunity to not only brush up against former NFL players, but learn some skills in football along with them. Is this something that you look at and say, my God, I wish this was available when I was in high school, when you were coming up as a prospect trying to get into college and make a mark for yourself in the game of football? Yeah, you know what? I, I, I wish it was something like that that we had in Georgia, and you know, unfortunately we didn't. I mean, Georgia is such a big state for, for football. And I think that it allows the kids to, to see us, former players, without the pass, without the helmet, you know, without running around on the field, just to get a chance to pick our brains personally and to see how we felt and the things that we did in order to get us to that point of the National Football League. And I think that it's, it's this great hands-on for the kids to come out, talk to us, get autographs, and take pictures as well, so... Well, once again, once again, we should mention that Patrick Pass, former New England Patriots running back, hosting a football camp in Brockton July 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Patrick, if there's any parents listening with kids who might want to sign up for this particular football camp, where can they get more information? Well, I do have a website. It's uh, www.patrickpass35.com. Uh, also, you can <laughs> – I, I do – uh, a lot of social media work on my Facebook page. You can inbox me on Facebook. Uh, also, Keith Hayes is uh, helping me out with the with the clinic. I'm sure a lot of people know Keith now in Brockton. And then you can also reach out to Keith Hayes as far as like trying to sign up. But I'm also going to be in Brockton Monday after 2 p.m. Keith is going to swim around uh, Brockton and uh, introduce me to a lot of people up there. So I will be in, a, I'll be in Brockton personally myself on Monday. So I'll 
still around. I'm still around. I'm, I'm not that hard to find. I mean, a lot of people, they, they know they have to do a lot of, you know, chit-chat and statuses on, on Facebook, and that's how a lot of people reach out to me. Well, Patrick, we'd love to have you in studio at some point prior to the camp to talk a little bit further about this. But for right now, we'll mention the folks July 23rd, 24th, and 25th at Brockton High School. More information can be found at PatrickPass35.com. Former New England Patriots running back Patrick Pass hosting a football camp for kids ages 8 to 17 at Brockton High School. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Any final words for our listeners before we let you go? Just just know that I know it's been a rough week for the Boston sports fan, but we will bounce back. The Celtics, the Bruins, and the Patriots. So, we do have the, the Red Sox to keep us afloat, but football season right around the corner. So, let's go. That's former Patriots running back Patrick Pass joining us here on AM 1460, the new WXBR. You're listening to the Metro South Morning Show PM in the AM. Peter Zimbor and Mike Pava here with you on this Friday morning. Time to take a look at local weather and traffic. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.